connected the power supply official power supply to raspberry pi the green led is blinking and you can see that uh, the power supply is going to the usb c connector and that is white in color you can see a black micro hdmi connector there that is an adapter cable and from that cable it will go into a regular hdmi cable this is the regular hdmi cable and i also connected a bluetooth adapter here you can see the bluetooth adapter i'll zoom it out and show that is going into one of the usb ports this is the under surface of the optical wireless mouse and you can see that there is an on off switch here and i have switched it on so that you can see the light coming up so this mouse is now active wireless mouse is now active the wireless keyboard is also connected to raspberry pi you can see that uh, the caps lock light has lit up that means i'll uh, switch off the light and show now i have removed the caps lock now the caps lock is there that means the wireless keyboard is also connected to the raspberry pi this is the raspberry pi desktop seen on the monitor now i am moving the wireless mouse and you can see the mouse pointer moving over there now i am going to the file manager you can see how the file manager opens up with the mouse you can browse the file system now i am browsing the raspberry pi you have programming internet the browsers are available sound and video vlc media player is available for graphics there is a image viewer accessories al archiver calculator document viewer file manager raspberry pi diagnostic raspberry pi imager sd card copier task manager terminal text editor these are the things in that menu then there is a help menu with the bookshelf debian reference get started help projects safety information then preferences add remove software appearance setting keyboard and mouse main menu editor printers raspberry pi configuration recommended software screen configuration then there is run and log out if